Hello everyone and welcome back to the basic deck card uh, guide that I've been putting up. I still don't know of a good name of calling it, so sorry about that. But pretty much in this guide series, I'll be just talking about the best, the best basic decks you can build as soon as you start the game and you want to uh, start pretty much, you've picked the class you want to use. And uh, this will be like the the guide in which you can make the most effective cards with the basic cards that the game gives you in the beginning. And I'll be helping you just think about certain aspects of why I chose these cards and what they're good for. And uh, really just the importance of these cards. And um, I hope the amount of research I've put into this and just uh, generally just asking other people about it is correct too. And I hope I give you the good information that will help you become a better player with your basic cards. Uh, if you're a beginner or if you just want to use basic cards or you just want to understand certain aspects of the cards that I'll talk about in this series. So today we'll be looking at the basic rogue. Uh, the basic rogue is strong and has its most cards from 2 mana to 4 mana. One thing I have to understand is most of these cards combo into each other pretty much. And most of these cards will run out very fast. As with the rogue, you are trying to control your opponent into reacting to your, uh, to your board situation, to your advantage for example. And you are making him react, he is not playing the cards he wants to play, you want them to play the game that you are playing. And hopefully they don't punish you for any mistakes you have. So you'll end up finding that you end up running out of cards very fast as you blow your cards very fast. You use a lot of them to set up your combos. And uh, really, that's, that's, that's the importance you need to know. If you find yourself in the late game running out of cards in your hand, don't be scared. Uh, that's just situ that's exactly how the rogue works. Is that you try take an, a very early advantage and make the the opponent's early uh, late game as bad as it can possibly be, and then you take advantage of that. But the earlier you win it, the better, or the earlier you can make the opponent have a disadvantage in the game, the better. So the first card we're gonna talk to is backstab. Backstab is the best early removal card you have as a rogue, as it deals 2 damage to any un undamaged minion. So for example, if the person turn 1 plays, uses the coin for example, and plays Knife Juggler or Cobalt Geomancer for example, you can instantly backstab it for 0 damage since it's undamaged, and it, uh, you instantly kill that mo monster. It's a 0 damage... Um, it's a, re a zero mana cost removal spell for anything that's two damage or less. And also you could just use it on a three mana minion as well, leaving it at one mana. I mean, uh, three HP minion as well, leaving it on one HP. And then you can finish it off with something else like your weapon or a lower cost minion that you had on the board. So backstab is really good. It really scales well. And if you have any plus spell damage minions on, on your deck, for example, like if you had... Uh, a Cobalt Geomancer that says spell damage plus 1, Backstab does 3 damage to undamaged minions, so it gets better if you can, uh, if you have certain situational cards in your deck. Helps you establish early board control, and it helps you take care of some of the bigger monsters early, uh, later game with other cards, but some of the other cards are not in this basic deck, but uh, just keep in mind guys that as I may be talking about basic deck guides, but there are some other cards that you can get uh, very early just by playing the game a little bit more, buying packs and uh, disenchanting cards you don't use and making the other cards you need. It's not really that hard, but this is the best basic cards deck guide that you can uh, do for yourself. Now, Deadly Poison gives your weapon plus two attack. And the um, rogue hero power, of course, is dagger mastery. And this gives the rogue a 1-2 dagger. And that means the dagger does 1 damage and can attack 2 times, 2 durability. And uh, so, of course, for 1 mana, you could buff this weapon to becoming a 3 damage dagger for 2 attacks. Which is 6 damage, which can be used. It's generally used for board uh, control. You're clearing the opponent's enemies off the board. Anything with 3 hit points or less, you use Deadly Poison to remove off the board, which is really strong, really. And there's some other cards that combo into this, like, for example, this may not be a, a basic card, but it's a card you can easily get, and this is Blood Cell Raider. 
op open up a few packs maybe you'll be lucky to get it or you can craft it yourself uh and this battle cry is against the attack equal to the attack of your weapon so for example if you had a, we a weapon equipped and then use deadly poison your weapon is a three two and you play blood cell raider next turn or on the same turn blood cell raider comes out for two mana it becomes a five three which is really strong uh so you can use that to your advantage swamp ooze and blood friend raptors i think i've talked a bajillion times about them just know they're good cards you need to get if you don't understand why watch the previous videos uh previous videos being the shaman guide and the warrior guide but just know that two of each is very good to have in your basic deck novice engineer also i've talked about good card draw and for two mana drawing that extra card is most important and of course swamp ooze has the battlecraft destroying your opponent's weapon so these cards, these three cards are really just the best basic cards you can have for the early game. Now this is when there's some diversity from the rogue from other classes. I decided to put Fan of Knives because this is the only AoE you could potentially have in a basic deck. And really without Fan of Knives it's really difficult to deal with any um, rushdown decks. I've, I've been trying to look for other cards to try and mitigate this, maybe try to do a rushdown of your own to fight back on the rush deck, uh, rushdown decks, but uh, with basic cards I don't think it's really possible. So instead you'll have Fan of Knives, and Fan of Knives deals 1 damage to all enemy minions, and then you draw a card from that, giving you more draw power. Like I said, the more cards you have, the more options you have to deal with your opponent. And... Um, of course, if you have anything that increases spell damage, for example, if you have a Cobalt Geomancer, you decided maybe to replace one Swampus and one Raptor for two Cobalt Geomancers, Fan of Knives now does two damage and you draw a card. So it's, it can really be a good spell in certain situations and it's uh, on, on, on generally it's an average AoE spell, but the, the strong part is that you draw a card from it and you can have two of those to do two damage if you have six mana and you're in a desperate spot or if you have a cobalt geomancer on the board like i said you can use two of them for six mana to deal four damage across the board and draw two cards which is always good uh razor fin hunter is another good card to establish yourself some board control as it's a three mana card and it and it gives you a two three hunter and this hunter has a 1-1 bow. So you can use the 1-1 bow to trade with other smaller minions and then use the Razor Fan Hunter itself to deal damage to, to the opponent's face or to deal damage to the other minions on the board that have 2 HP or less to establish a board control. You could do that. And also, you can, for example, if you have Knife Juggler, you can set up Knife Juggler and then you throw Razor Fan Hunter in. And Knife Juggler will throw a knife. Like Knife Juggler's effect is that after you summon a minion, deal one damage to a random enemy, right? So you summon Razor Fan Hunter, he'll do one damage. And then when the boar appears from the summon a 1-1 one, one boar battle cry ability, he'll do another one damage. So that's another, for example, that's a combo you can do with Knife Juggler. But Knife Juggler is not a basic card. But if you have it, for example, that's something you can do. Now, Shattered Sun Cleric, I've talked um, a lot about it. Like I said, it's a good card. 3 mana for 3 attack and 2 damage is not really all that great. But you can buff any other minion on the board. So the bad side about it is that if you play it on its own, it's a weak card. But if you play it with other minions on the board, then it's a strong card. Chill and Yeti has got excellent stats for mana for a 4 attack and 5 health, which are just uh, really good stats for any basic deck. I advise you to get 2 of those. Uh, no Mission Venters are good as you get to draw a card for playing one of them and uh it's got four he he health points for four mana which is really strong and um sadly its attack isn't all that good but like i said draw power strong the more cards you have the more options you have uh i would advise you get two send and shield masters in this deck as you have no other taunts besides these in any basic rogue deck so I would advise you to get them to establish board control, make the, uh, the opponent's minions tag the taunt while you clear his minions on the board with your dagger or with your assassin's blade. Assassin's blade is a, is a three attack weapon with four attack, uh, with four durability so it can attack four times with three attack rating. And you can swamp or you can buff assassin's blade with deadly poison to do uh how much is that five damage for four turns so that's 20 damage off one blade 
but you have to consider that if you are attacking minions then uh you are taking damage from minions as well so keep that in mind don't abuse your hp pool and also if you buff your assassin's blade with deadly poison for it to bear five uh damage and then you play blood cell raider for example then blood cell raider will become a five three for two mana which is really strong so that's a good combo you can keep in mind with this basic rogue deck uh assassin assassinate is your removal spells the best removal spell a rogue has from um uh, basic decks till expert and legendary decks assassinate is just the perfect card to have as it's your best removal spell and what assassinate does is it destroys the enemy minion full stop it doesn't hex it it doesn't transform it into something else that you'll have to do with it simply removes the minion of the deck no matter what that minion is that minion will be assassinated so have two of those those are really good to try uh if you if the opponent has played a really big minion like a war golem for example or a core hound or whatever uh then this is a really strong card to uh take care of those big minions instantly for five mana like I said, Boulder Fist Ogre, excellent stats all around. 6 mana for 6 attack and 7 HP is very, very strong. It trades it trades better with many other bigger minions. So you have to consider that. And also you can buff it with Sun with the Shattered Sun Cleric. So for example, if you ever thought you if you ever had an argument with yourself with your basic decks and asked yourself, um, let me have Lord of the Arena instead of the Boulder Fist. I still say Boulder Fist is better as Boulder Fist has the same attack for the same amount of mana as the Lord of the Arena, but has two more HP than Lord of the Arena, so it can trade more. Because no one will really want to leave your Boulder Fist Ogre on the board. They'll tr try find a way to remove it as that's six damage, which is a lot. And if it attacks twice, that's 12 damage. And you can buff it with Shattered Sun Cleric to do seven damage. And if it attacks twice, that's a lot of damage now like i said if you look at the mana curve uh from five mana onwards you start running out of cards because uh, this, most of your cards combo into each other and you spend a lot of cards early so you get one sprint for that reason and this helps you draw four cards so it's like when you've run out of cards in your hand you could potentially have four turns worth of cards with seven mana it's uh sprint is a really good card for rogues in that regard to try help you uh regain some card advantage if you've lost your card advantage due to all the combos and certain cards you have to play and the last card you'll have a stormwind champion like i said you like a, you'd like to have a strong early game so if you've got a strong presence with minions on the board due to your strong early game stormwind champion can buff all the minions you have on the board making them deal more damage so pretty much that's the basic rogue deck uh i hope it works out for you give me you can give me some feedback as to what you think is bad about it and what you think is good about it but thanks for watching guys this was the basic rogue deck i did a shaman basic shaman deck and a basic warrior deck before this uh which you could check out they're really good and uh have a great day